Hey guys, welcome to HNS Academy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix the higher via 11C laptop keyboard problem. I've made a video on how you can fix this by disabling a particular key uh, if you have a problem with uh, only one key however it seems that um, uh, people are getting problem uh, the same problem with different uh, keys at the same time and in that case that key tweak um, solution uh, is not really working overall it is working to some extent however it's not really a permanent solution today i've brought you a permanent solution uh, for this problem um, so let's get started um, as you can see here previously i had problem with the delete key and a couple of other keys now as you can see if you usually have problem with the delete key it would delete the file as soon as you click on it but it's working fine for me even over here as well so let's get started with how we can fix this issue uh, permanently now before we jump into this if you haven't subscribed our channel please do it now as it really helps us uh, create more content for you i've been working on this particular issue for the last few uh, weeks and today i've brought you a permanent solution so you don't have to spend money on getting the, your keyboard replaced or you know get it fixed from a hardware shop so with that being said let's get started so what you need to do is go to the start uh, menu on this corner right click on it and go to the device manager here inside the device manager you will have different options you need to go to keyboards and here you might only see two options i'm getting three for some reason um, but this is the one way you need to go so you need to go to this standard ps slash 2 keyboard right click on it and then go to update driver option here you'll have a couple of options here you need to click on this browse my computer for driver software you need to click on this then you need to click on this option here let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer select this click on it and here you'll see these options here if you go to this checkbox here show compatible hardware if you uncheck this you'll get more options over here if we scroll down you just need to select a random one and then select uh, any of these over here so you just need to select a random manufacturer and a random uh, model and then click on it and then go next now this will tell you that uh, it will give you like a warning sign uh, but don't worry because we are just switching the uh, drivers to a different um, driver software so our actual um, internal keyboard gets disabled but we are going to enable it again so just go ahead and click on yes and this will tell you that windows has successfully updated your drivers now this tells you that you need to restart your computer in order to apply the changes so if you click on close then it will give you this pop-up if you want to restart your computer right now to take effect or you want to do it later for now because I'm going to complete the video I'm not going to restart it for now but I would recommend you to restart the computer and then do the next step after this so for now I'm going to click no but I would recommend you to go ahead with the restart and then follow the options um, follow the instructions for this after um, you've restarted the computer okay so after this once you've restarted the computer you need to uh, do the same step again go to start right click go to device manager again and go to keyboards again and here um, now you'll see that you will see a different name over here instead of standard ps slash 2 keyboard you will see the name of the, the driver which we have installed um, previously 
now what you need to do is you need to right click on this option again and go to update driver again okay and you need to go to the option called browse my computer for software and then the same option let me pick from a list of available drivers click on this and here you need to again uncheck this now here um, previously we went down and we selected a random one but for now we need the right uh, drivers so for that we're going to click on standard keyboards and once you click on standard keyboards it gives you different options over here now here from this one we're going to select the one which we have previously used which is this one standard ps slash 2 keyboard select this and then go next and this will tell you that the ps slash 2 keyboard um, drivers have been installed and you just need to close it and then it will give you a pop-up to restart the computer then you need to go ahead and click on yes in order to restart the computer and after you have restarted the computer your problem will be resolved and your keys will start working pro uh, properly so for now I'm just going to click no okay and we are done with the process so once you've done uh, followed all the steps you will uh, be able to after you restart the computer you'll be able to use it normally and you won't have any problems with any of your keys this seems to be a really working solution because um, it always seemed like that this was something to do with the software rather than a hardware issue because it started happening with everybody all at once and um, so I've been working on different solutions for this um, because it seemed like it was something to do with the drivers or the software um, and this is what I have found I was trying different things and the other day when I tried to disable the internal keyboard uh, to use an external one when I um, changed the drivers and then changed them back to the original ones they started working fine for me so hopefully this video will help you uh, get your keyboard back to normal and if it did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel as it really helps us create more content for you and you will um, get a notification of our upcoming videos as well. That's all for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye bye.